eventually we'll have the starting lineup for the Southern Rams. Anthony Reese for the Rams. Deshaun Minnis, the guard. Number 20, guard Antoine Reese. Antoine Reese. Number 23, forward Fernell Doster. 23, Fernell Doster. And number 33, forward Vaughn Clark. And number 33, Vaughn Clark. So those are the starting lineups for this PIAA quarterfinal game. Norristown coming over a coming off of a 66 to 50 win over Mechanicsburg. While Southern Philly comes off of a 73 to 54 win over Souderton. Interesting warm up there by Southern Rams. Hey, but whatever gets you pumped for the game. Yeah, Norristown throughout the season has been doing that pregame ritual with Gerald Gardner standing in the middle and, and, and doing like a little dance. They've gone away from it in states and it's a shame. I, I loved saying that. <laughs> I'll have to second that partner. It's the truth. <laughs> All right, Quentin Watson now in to take the tip for Norristown. And Vaughn Clark for the Rams. Possession goes to the Rams and immediately Go for the shot, no good there was Minnis. Norristown the other way, the ball is out on Sheldon Mayer, so right away possession will go back to the Southern Rams. Well, right off the tip, I feel that that was a bad toss by the ref, and that's why the Rams are able to go right in and uh, get a nice look. Didn't go down, but I feel that the bad toss led to the good look. Minnis now with the ball. Shot here is up, that one's short. And Wyatt comes up with it for Narstown. Sheldon Mayer will start up with it. And Fernell Dalster's coming off of a 23 point game and he's a very dangerous scorer. He is one of their best scorers and Narstown will have trouble containing him today. Khalif Wyatt bounce pass to Mayer. Inside, back out to Mayer. Wyatt has it, he'll toss it to Russell Graham. Graham back out to Wyatt. Wyatt, defender on him. Throws it back out to Sheldon Mayer, who almost loses the ball, but gets it back. And Norristown still controlling the possession, and Russell Graham has it now with six minutes and 47 seconds now in this first quarter. The Eagles having trouble finding offense right now. Let's see if they can get something going. Russell Graham has it back to Mayer. Shot there is up and spins out. Ball gets right back. Watson can't hold it. It's out on Minnis for the Rams. So Norristown will get the ball back here. And you're right, Mark. They are struggling here on offense. Yeah, but it's a good thing that Quentin Watson was there for that offensive rebound because now they'll get another chance. Okay. Mayer has it. Back out to Wyatt. Wyatt gives it right back to Mayer. Wyatt's gonna go for three early. He is off with that shot. And the Rams come up with it. Six minutes, 11 seconds now to go in the first quarter. Khalif Wyatt's been tremendous scoring the basketball all postseason in the districts and in the states. Shot there by Clark is no good. So with five minutes and 57 seconds here in this first quarter, we still are scoreless. Russell Graham silences that. Puts two on the board, excuse me, three. Don't wanna dock him any points. So Russell Graham comes up big and puts three points on the board for Norristown, but the Rams are fighting right back. Shot there is no good, but a foul. And that'll send Anthony Reese. Well, I said this could be a very high scoring game and we've played just over two minutes and there's been three points scored. So that so far, is not holding Cho at all. But I expect it to pick up because both of these teams are very athletic and will run the floor. Okay, Reese now at the line shooting two. 
First is up. He'll get another. Here is Reese's second shot from the line. It's up and that one rolls no good. So we stand here with five minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Norristown leads by two, three to one over Southern. And the Rams will inbound, it's their possession. Shot there is up and that one rolls. And here comes Norristown back on offense. Wyatt has the ball, he'll pass back to Mayer. Mayer back to Graham again, back to Mayer who swings to Wyatt. Two, three zone defense for the Rams. Bounce pass back, Wyatt tries to break the defender, can't back to Sheldon Mayer who bounce pass there to Graham. Graham is fouled. And a good job by Sheldon Mayer. We always talk about how he's such a smart player and does not always fill up the scoring column. But right there, uh, found Russ Graham who had some open space along the baseline and now he ends up at the line where he's an excellent shooter. Shot there for Russell Graham is Good, he'll get another shot. Graham takes a deep breath, eyes up the basket, and converts the second. Norristown leads five to one now, over Southern four minutes and 55 seconds in this first quarter. Here, the Rams have the ball right there, cannot convert, the putback is no good. And Russell Graham comes up with the ball, nice move there by Graham, tips it off the glass. And that play did not work out for the, for the Eagles. And here comes the Rams. Clark the other way is rejected. They try to go to the lob on the other end of the floor for Quentin Watson, it wasn't happening. But Quentin Watson is just a highlight reel waiting to happen and they didn't, made it happen at the other end of the floor. Here comes the Eagles again with the ball. Back out to Wyatt who goes up, gets two. Norristown pulls out to a six point lead with four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. You know, they're starting to, they look a little bit more comfortable than last time we saw them at this facility. And boy, I go right back to it. Experience pays off. And they're showing like they're the more experienced team at this point. Well, they're playing good defense. And obviously when your opponent only has one point, in nearly half a quarter, you're playing good defense. But they're, um, they're creating turnovers. They're definitely rebounding defensively. And that's why they're up early. Reese inbounds for the Rams. Ball stripped away there by Wyatt. He almost lost it, gets it back. Graham down low to put it back, cannot. Here comes Reese, he's storming the other way for the Rams. Shot there, broken up. A good foul by James Ramsey there. Antoine Reese tried there, but was fouled, so he'll go to the line. Antoine Reese is the second leading scorer for these Rams in the States thus far with nine and a half per game. Showing co excellent concentration on that shot. Makes the first. We've played just under four minutes and the Rams have yet to make a field goal. Both of their points coming from the line. Second shot, it hits the heel of the rim, bounces off. Let's see who they give this to. They're gonna give this to the Rams. Tough call for the Eagles, tough call. 7-2, Norristown leads by five, approaching the four minute mark. Shot there by Minnis is no good for three. And here comes Wyatt for the Eagles. Inside there to Briggs, and that one off the glass. Make it nine to two now, Norristown. And boy, you let Briggs get to the low post area, and boy, he'll take advantage of it. Those points in the paint we talked about, there they are. Shot there, boy. Norristown's guarding down low. Good job 
defensively, and they'll get the ball back here with Wyatt, who's short for three. So at Wyatt yet to connect from long range here. Three minutes and 17 seconds. Now in the first quarter. Shot there is blocked by Briggs. Minnis has it. He's fouled and won. So Deshaun Minnis will go to the line shooting one. A good block earlier in the possession by Maurice Briggs. The second block of the game for the Eagles. But they let the Rams get it back, and they end up with a and one. That's Khalif Wyatt's first foul, first team foul for Norris Jared down. Smart will come into the game to give Khalif Wyatt what should be a short breather. And Minnis connects there on the three-point play. Norristown only up by four, nine to five. Three minutes now to go in this first quarter. And here's Norristown, long pass. Nasir Johnson finds his way right next to us here on the press table. Well, that was a wake up call. It really was. <laughs> Talk about the action coming right to you. Minnis has it, he'll pass back into Johnson. And now Nor uh, Norristown finds himself in only up by two, nine to seven. So the Rams are clawing their way back here. Norristown has got to get their offense going once again here. Jared Smart, now with the ball for Norristown, he'll throw it back to Ramsey. Ramsey loses it, and here comes the Rams the other way. Jared Smart takes the ball right away. And Norristown has possession once again. That was a good job by Maurice Briggs to get back on defense. So instead of a two-on-one, it was a two-on-two. -two. And then Smart here's, got the steal. Here's Paul Savage. Ball was off the Rams, so Savage will inbound the ball for Norristown. Savage had a heck of a last game uh, against up in Reading. Yeah, he scored 15 points, and um, he's averaging 12 points per game in the state playoffs. He's been tremendously effective. Did not get a ton of playing time in the regular season. Actually averaged just 3.2 points per game. But the Eagles are very deep, and they can afford to sit guys like Khalif Wyatt and, and Russell Graham because they have some depth. Shot there is off, and... Fight for the ball, jump ball. It'll be possession, Norristown. That last game was Norristown beating Mechanicsburg, 66 to 50. Here's Wyatt, he inbounds. Savage gets two there, nice work by Paul Savage, but he looks to have He's holding his ankle. Do you think this is a cramp here or an injury? I can't really tell. Paul Savage is obviously in some pain right now, and some trainers are out to look at him. We hope that he's all right. You know, this looks extremely similar to what happened in the last game to Karan Burton. Uh, went down in a lot of pain. He was able to return, though, so hopefully the same thing will happen with Paul Savage. You know, the one thing you you hope and pray happens, and especially during as you get further and further in these playoffs, that you avoid injury. So both teams uh, right now going to their benches, and they'll sit and discuss a few things, and Savage makes it up. He's still feeling tender on that left ankle. He's hopping along here is our athletic trainer, Dennis Flynn. Helps him off the court. So he'll take him over to the sideline and they'll figure out what's hurting him at this point. We hope to see him back, but right now it doesn't look too good. He's having a lot of trouble walking just off the court. All right. Well, I, I would like to say that he looks okay, but right now I don't think that's the case. Okay, well, if you're just joining us, uh, there's a minute 42 now to play here in the, the first quarter. Norristown leads it 11 to seven over the Southern Rams. 
And that depth that I was talking about will be tested more now that you have a player down. Jarrell Gardner is into the game for the injured Paul Savage. Minish with the ball right now for the Rams. Shot there is up, no. That one did fall, that kind of fooled me there, Mark. Yeah, high off the rim, ended up going down. And Fernell Doster, just showing you that he can score from anywhere on the floor. All right, here's a shot there from Russell Graham, is no good for three. 11, now, 11 and nine now, Norristown. Only up by two. But Wyatt has the basketball. I'm surprised he didn't throw it ahead and try to create a transition opportunity. Slowed it down a little bit there. Wyatt has it again for Norristown. Hangs on to it back to Sheldon Mayer. Here's Wyatt. Moves inside, loses it. Mayer has it, he loses it. Johnson picks it up and Minnis has it. Hands off there and a foul call on Narstown. And Russell Graham gets caught on the foul. Tamir Hanner will go to the line for the Rams and he'll shoot two. He's averaging nine points per game during these state playoff games. Makes the free throw there to make it a one point game and Norristown started off very strong. Had the 7-1 lead. But it's now a 9-4 run for the Southern Rams that have them with an opportunity to tie the game with a free throw. They come up short there and it's now 11-2-10. So Norristown only up by one, 17 seconds now to go in this first quarter. So Sheldon Mayer will hang on to it as long as he can. Hand off to Smart there, but now they're trying to get here. Something set up, Wyatt looks. And Smart has it now with pressure. And really, Norristown did not get a shot off there. And there was a lot of pressure from the Rams defensively. And I think a wasted opportunity. The Eagles were trying to make the extra pass. But when you only have two, three seconds left, you have to put a shot up. And then you see them trying to get it to Sheldon Mayer who couldn't control the ball. And even if he did, he didn't have a good look at all. All right, so at the end of the first quarter, Norristown is only leading by one. And so much for my high scoring game. We're on pace for a 44 to 40 game, which is well below these teams' averages of, in terms of what they score per game. 